with Auburn hosting uh, Vanderbilt this past weekend. Didn't turn out quite the way the Tigers <laughs> wanted it to, uh, yes. but it was the number one ranked Vanderbilt Commodores coming in 26-3 and on the season. Auburn dropped Friday night's game 11-6, to 11-2 to on Saturday, and then on Sunday 6-2. to two. But a uh, uh, tough <laughs> matchup there for Auburn. But, you know, number one ranked Commodores. And let me tell you something about Vanderbilt's program here over the last three years. They've got it going. They have been up there. I mean, the likes of Price, who went on, and that's the, the number one starter at Tampa Bay that played at the Biscuits. David Price is the one I'm speaking of. Vanderbilt's pitching staff and their – and their lineup, top to bottom, some of the best hitters in the country, some of the best pitchers. So Vanderbilt doing a great job recruiting right now. Well, let me tell you, and I think it's smart that guys like – if you're not going to take the money right after high school, why wouldn't you go get a $150,000 education like Vanderbilt saying, okay, I'm going to be here for three years or, or whatever the yeah. rule is. Why wouldn't you – I'm not knocking Alabama or Auburn's program, but yeah. if I'm a guy who's going to be turning down – you know, late first, early second round money. I'm going to go to a college that's going to give me a hundred fifty thousand dollars education. Yeah. And so I think it's I think it's smart. I don't see you know you got guys like at Stanford and Vanderbilt. I think you're going to see more of these top notch schools, academic schools. I'm not saying that Alabama and Auburn aren't top notch. They're very very solid. Look, you and I both hold diplomas from from these. We're, yeah, we're very proud right. of these two right. in state universities. But if my kid had a chance to go to Al Vanderbilt full ride or Auburn or Alabama full ride. I'm going to send him to Vanderbilt every time just for the bang for your buck if it's a freebie. Yeah, well, I'm going to tell you another thing. You know, Auburn's got to move forward, and uh, they go on the road this weekend uh, to Kentucky. Right now, uh, losing uh, to Troy at home, and, and, and by Brian's account, not a very not close, 12-1. to 1. But uh, Auburn right now going through uh, – uh, a slump, and that happens in baseball a lot. Where you, you know, you either got it going or you don't have it going. There's really no in between. It's like putting in golf. It really you, you is. Just, you know. But Auburn looks to try to, you know, Kentucky uh, uh, sitting over there on the Eastern Division side. Auburn needs to go on the road and uh, and really try to start turning things around, or you can be in, in a in a hole that may be too deep to turn to get out of. But they'll have a three game set starting this Friday at Kentucky up in Lexington. Moving on. To the AO Review Area Roundup in softball and soccer, it was Beauregard defeating Valley 14-8. Reed Campbell was 4 for 4 for the Hornets, helping them to a 10-9 record. Glenwood pitcher Olivia McElroy, uh, McLemore, excuse me, was recognized Tuesday for surpassing 1,000 strikeouts in her career with the uh, Glenwood Gators. So uh, congratulations there to Olivia McElmore. Uh, McLemore, excuse me, for, for a thousand strikeouts in her career. Uh, over in soccer, it was Auburn always with an unreal soccer program, defeating Opelika 4 nothing. It was Ly Lyman Ward 9 to nothing over Glenwood. We'll talk some Auburn football now. Austin, again, A day in two weeks uh, down at Auburn. And again, we want to uh, uh, really uh, promote what AO Tourism is doing, doing down there. And uh, over the next week and a half, we're going to be promoting what they want you to go and, and check out down there while you're in the Auburn area. Uh, but as you can see here featured, Ontario McCaleb uh, got to carry the, the football quite a bit in the scrimmage with the absence, you know, obviously of, of some of the guys that were in the backfield. Eric Smith obviously gone, but but Michael Dyer part of that. Quindarius Carmen and Blake and Phillip Litzenkirch and all caught a touchdown pass. Trotter didn't have any interceptions, but he didn't have any touchdowns either. Clint Mosley had two touchdowns and a pick. So uh, right now that quarterback battle at Auburn is is something everybody's watching, just like it is at Alabama. But uh, as as you said, Trotter and, and Clint Mosley – Battling it out to see who's going to be the signal caller uh, going into the fall. Well, I'll tell I'll tell you this: Trotter has been almost you'd say the front runner three springs in a row, and if he doesn't get the starting job this year, you, your heart has to go out for him a little bit because he has kind of been right there as far well, as we know what Clint Mosley can do. But, I, but I'll tell you this. Well, I saw that boy throw a football at the Super Six in Tuscaloosa, and I said, "My goodness, my eyes just opened wide." He throws about a, as pretty of a ball as I've seen. Now, I don't know about – you know, and he was a running quarterback in high school as yeah. well. He has the athletic ability. Now, can he make the reads? Can Does he have the pocket presence? Does he have all those other intangibles that comes along with having to be a big boy SEC quarterback at a big-time football school like Auburn? I don't know. But he, I can promise you this. 
he has the arm. He has what it takes to be a, a big-time quarterback as far as arm strength. I don't know about the others. Well, Gene Chizik, uh, you know, not really releasing a lot. Auburn not really releasing a lot of stats out of that scrimmage. You know, both Auburn and Alabama uh, don't allow any video cameras into the scrimmages any longer or in the practices. So you just have to go off what they give you and what they release to the media. So both teams and both both camps really secretive about what they let out. And, uh, you know, you know, maybe – uh, that's that's a positive well, for them because it keeps things in house. Well, Nick Saban's always been that way. He, he's gotten kind of beat up and, for it. And, you know, but, and, and pretty much Gene Chiz has been since well, he's been back at Auburn. Well, and, and to be honest with you, Auburn's going to be that way right now because of all the other firestorms. You don't want media coming in there and asking you questions that don't pertain to your scrimmage. Because I guarantee you the first 18 questions is going to be about HBO or the four idiots yeah. that decided to go to that house or whatever. That, Nick, I mean, Chizik's job right now is to separate his team now from all that yep. and to focus on next year's football team and that's what people are not going to focus on right now and I think Chizik's making a smart move by doing that. If you want to see what's going on, I uh, know of course obviously they're not going to show everything. Go down to 8 day in two weeks down on the Plains and uh, and check out uh, the 2011 Auburn Tigers, the defending national champions and a lot a lot off that team from last year but a lot of, a lot of talent coming on to replace and uh, we'll see how uh, how a lot of those guys can fill in and, and how quickly they can fill in. But that's going to do it for the Auburn Minute here, sponsored by uh, Dane Sharp, Attorney at Law, and there's Lacey Bino, our host for the Auburn Opelika Review. You can see our Auburn Opelika Review show multiple times each week, and that is sponsored by Late Martin Oyster Bar and Grill uh, down on uh, right off 34 in Dable, Alabama. So go down and check them out. But Lacey does an outstanding job. They just did a feature on uh, on Amsterdam Cafe and uh, the Irish Bread Pub in Auburn and Opelika, so you don't want to miss those. Two new episodes coming up of the AO Review, and uh, Lacey, again, does an outstanding job. Glad to have her on board now, Austin, with us, and uh, and she do, she's doing a wonderful job, and uh, uh, she'll have some other really neat features coming your way throughout the rest of the year and into the summer as we head into the summer months. A lot of neat things going on around Lake Martin. She'll be involved in that. But, Austin, we're going to take a break, our last break. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit about that HBO special and talk a little bit about uh, what you and I talked about on the radio a couple hours ago and, and really what the motivation is. And, unfortunately, we're unable to get in touch with Wayne Dickens, uh, who was supposed to be on the show. Of course, he's extremely busy all the time. Austin, he's out all hours of the night going to these schools, doing FCA functions. So uh, uh, hopefully to have Wayne on maybe next week uh, instead. We'll take a break, come back, we'll talk about that that show that came out last week uh, uh, on the HBO special about Inside College Athletics. Stay tuned. More Sports Blitz Live presented by JR's right after this. <laughs> 